YouTubers back again. Yes, look how super easy. She's here. Right, it's just a little chat to let you know what's what's going on. What a, <laughs> oh dear, what a um, mess. Um, yeah, I've packed. Well, I'm still have to go because things have happened. I just have to laugh because oh, it's so funny. If you don't laugh, you cry. I thought I'd just come on. Well, this video will be the last year. So what's happened? You remember two weeks ago I went and two weeks ago I went to Liverpool. I was supposed to go again this week, but things have to sort things out. And can't find the landlord, as the title says, can't find the landlord. It's like that that thing. I just keep laughing. I was upset and um stressed out as you can see, I haven't slept and everything, worried. And it's like seeking me here, they're seeking there, but they cannot find the landlord. So I went two weeks ago when um, I said to you when I done the video, I was looking for it. I went to the state agent. I'll put the pictures up at the end of the video so you can see, because that's the flat that I was supposed to move into. And when I went there two weeks ago, the flat's still there, nobody's in it. Because when I was talking to Kev, Kev, he was saying, is anyone in it? So now it's still there. And it went up again for rent. So I contacted them and they said, well, you've got, I said, yeah. I said, because he told me that Lime Street Station will meet me there. Give me the keys and take me down in the car. He said, because you've got the cat and dog, I'll take you down in the car. He doesn't mind. And nobody can find him. They phoned me again on um, Friday saying they still can't find. Am I still coming down? I said, well, yes, because what's happened? Because I phoned him twice and... He said, don't worry about it, you've got the key, don't worry about it, you've got the property, you've got the property. So I handed my keys in. Well, I haven't handed it. What I've done, I've told Hoptima, or Citizen, what they call this house, because this is our Citizen Association. And I said, well, I'll be going to Liverpool, I'm moving to Liverpool on the 30th. And they said, all right, so I'll give the, you have to give them four weeks notice. They said, okay. So when I went back and told them, they said, well, sorry, because your flat's been allocated out. It's... um." Families are waiting to come in because it's a two bedroom in Birmingham. I don't know if it's the same in Liverpool. Once you're hand, saying that you're leaving there straight, look for people to move in. Because, like this, so, um, shortage of housing and stuff like that, they're quick to get people in. So they said, Well, you have, your flat's been allocated to a family. I said, Oh, I said, Because I'm having trouble with the landlord up there. And they said, Well, there's nothing we can do to help you. Is there anyone you can stay with? I said, well, no, I've got no family, nothing. And so what I'm going to do, I was going to stay at the Adelphi Hotel for a couple of weeks to see if I can sort some out and find some out. But I found out that it was haunted. And with everything going on, the last thing I want to be doing is sitting there and stuff happening. So I've looked at the lodge. I think they take pets. Because I was going to go and try and find like a B&B &B pet friendly so when i get up there on monday i'll have a look and um, hopefully and then from there while i'm up there i can sort things out but yeah so that's that's what's happened so but my friend linda she said she thought some up was funny she said because usually they give you the key sign the papers i said well yeah she said he, what he might be doing is getting money to get the flats done because he said to me it needed to be done but when I went there, I didn't see anything done. He said, oh, there's bits to be done, filling and that. Because the state agent showed me and then they contacted him and then he contacted me and said, yeah. He said, I'm happy with your application. He said, you've got the flat. He said, but there's a bit of work to do so you'll be able to move in 30th of January. So I said, oh, all right, that's great. Excited, packing stuff, everything. And then I phoned him, he said, yeah, don't worry about it. Then when I went up, nobody could find him, nobody could contact him. I've emailed and everything, nobody is not responding to it or anything. So what my friend Linda thinks is he might have get money and done a runner and left the flat. So some I, I don't know. It's strange. See I never rent private before because my first flat was um council and they changed over to Optima and then I've been there thirteen years and he has fourteen years. So I've never done this kind of thing before, private. And I didn't have anyone to help me to advise. But my friend Linda said I should have um, marked her and she would have. So. Because my partner's too busy with his mum, so he's trying to help a bit, but not much. So I haven't got any help anywhere, so I just.
try and do everything myself and when you can't read and write very well it's hard but I've got some money aside so when I go up on Monday I've got to because I've got to carry because what I thought I was gonna do was go up there on the Monday drop the, the um, cat off get them settled in come back the next day because I was gonna do it on the Saturday but he, he said the key because I was gonna say to him give me the keys on the Friday and I go up on the Saturday stay with the cats Posty or something because it's on a box that's why because the because what I've done I've sell a few things I've sold me coffee table me drawers <laughs> me copy drawers not me <laughs> me drawers and wardrobe few things that I think well I can always do without because going into a two bedroom to a one bedroom so I've sold a few things and the money I got I just kept it for for renting hotel or being big and yeah so i forgot where i was now yeah so what i was gonna do get the keys off him early instead of monday drop the cats off and then let them settle in come back and then take the dog but because i've got to be out of here they give me um the end of the month so it's monday and so what i've got to do is put the two cats in this i've got to carry the cats but the cats are big so i've got to put two cats in here but they should be all right they shouldn't be fighting on the train with that and the dog and then liquor bag with some clothes because I was going to take my suitcase with the dog so I've got to do it different now try and work it out I'm going to do because I need to carry a few clothes to change and a bit of makeup and stuff like that and then when I'm up there there's just shops I can always get some leggings or something Primarks or or um charity shops things like that I can find some clothes just to carry me through but yeah so that's what's happened and yeah so so yeah you don't know do you you, you um moan about things and then things happen but i thought oh so so that's what i'll be doing so monday 30th monday coming because it's today today's monday but it's been next week so i'll just catch the train go down and then try and look i'm looking on on the internet but i think the lodge by anybody from liverpool would know where it is it's a lodge you cross over the road and it takes you into the docks and the pierhead i think it's that one around the corner i think they take pets and then because what i'll have to do is because what i need when you you get there you need somewhere to um rest somewhere to sleep somewhere where you can eat and the pets are warm because the dog can take out and looking for places but I think once I'm up there and go around, it might be a bit easier then to get things and I can sort things out. But maybe, I don't know. It's just, well, it's just strange that one. My friend was, she's worried now. She said, oh, you're going to be homeless. I said, well, no, because I'll look for somewhere, somewhere cheap to stay until I sort things out and see what happened. And try and see if I can find some up there, somewhere up there, private, quick if I can and then from there just try and put my name down and see if I can get somewhere but yeah so that's what's happened and it's it um not it is it was stressful because I thought bloody hell, I've got nowhere to go now what I'm gonna do and it was a bit um it was a bit stress so I thought oh so I thought I'll let you know what's happening and then I'll put the pictures of the property so so when I went there that's what I was doing to look and I thought well I'll walk around Liverpool so yeah but good job I done my research on the Adelphi Hotel that's haunted and stuff like that so leave her alone sit you better behave yourself when you go on the train you know that yes she's looking at me so yes so you'll see me there the Monday or the Tuesday walking around with her and the cats <laughs> see you just have to laugh at it in it so yeah I thought I'd just come on and let you know what's happening and see so sometimes things work out somehow but I told people and I said don't worry and said things will sort itself out something will happen something will sort itself out though. so don't look at the um at the, the the worst of it things can things could be worse that's what they're saying things could be worse so 
but apart from that everything is on on track so i've um packed so he'll be going because what i'm doing i'm putting everything in my partner's he's got a garage i'm just putting everything there because that's what i was going to do either way put everything there and then look for a van to bring everything up there so i've got everything because the only thing i'm not taking with me is the chair this one i'm taking the bed i'm not because it's a whole bed the only thing i'll buy up there is um take time as long as i've got some way to sit and just get some some um, duvets and sleep so no rush to get anything just slowly get a chair a bed wardrobe and fridge and cooker if i need to get one but everything else i'm taking like my lamps my telly and the clock and awning and stuff like that i'm not gonna i'm not one of these move or oh, i got to buy new stuff what's the point you could just i've got my lamps and that at 56 you don't but i think maybe um it does bother me a bit because i suppose when i get near to the day because today's monday i suppose when i get friday saturday sunday i'll be getting what they call it the um, butterflies in your stomach and a bit frightened but because growing up we always got evicted so maybe getting used to it. i don't know i'm not um i am worried but not that i think something will work out hopefully so what i'm doing now is still keep looking and just hoping so when i'm up there i look because i'll have more time then i walk the dog i can have a look if there's any properties to rent and see but that one was all right because he said the pets was all right most of them they don't take pets so we we'll see what happened and yes i saw washing machine if you can hear and yep and it's okay she's been um, i had to change her food because i was feeding her irons and it was giving a rash and she had all these bumps and everything so i went to the vet because i had to take her to the vet the years she had some um what they call ear infection it was cleared up and i was talking to the man in the pet shop and he said it could be the food he said they give me some so if you've got a cat that's got that it's tea tree oil and you put rub it on them and it seemed to ease up the dry skin the dropping up she had dry skin didn't you and i think it was the food so i put her on shiva because there's something with whiskers, people, cats are getting sick. I thought Iams was alright, because that's supposed to be a good food. But people say it's not that brilliant. And it's okay, they haven't seen you for a long time. Next place you see us will be somewhere else. And it's okay. Suppose they'd be a bit frightened, new place. And, um, <clears throat> but I think she, she's one of those that um, get in there and get... And it's okay, yeah. If she sits there and... <laughs> and it, and then she put up her phone. Yeah, so I thought I'd let you know a bit about what's going on. I'm not too... Well, I am worried, but not too... You can't, and it, there's nothing I can do about it now. There's nothing, everything's done now. I've handed the property back to Optima. And I wish I was a fly. I don't know if I could see what they... Because the reason... The reason um, you've seen all these marks, like the black... Because I was what I was going to do with this flat, I was going to paint it black and get like a gothic style but what happened the person upstairs i had a flood four times i had a flood the kitchen the kitchen the reason i painted it black was to hide the brown mark because the kitchen was flooded four times i come back from work i was doing care work and it was all dripping down three o'clock in the morning because i came back because we had a late call and i didn't get back home till about three and i come back and all the kitchen was all water so i phoned optima because they changed their name to citizen but i still call them optima and he said, oh, you got to decorate it yourself. We don't decorate. Just put some plaster. I said, well, I ain't got time to decorate. I said, I'm working. He said, oh, no, just decorate it yourself. So I thought, well. And then the switches are gone, the light. They're not done it. So I thought, well, so it was like, um, I thought, right, if I ever move, you'll have a trouble of redecorating it because black is hard to paint over. So I just went over black. And I told the lady, I said, because nobody came to do it, the mark. I said, the black will hide the mark. So that's what I've done because there you can see a dirty brown mark and there, but they haven't done nothing. And when I moved in, they were supposed to put stuff where you can put your curtains. I had to get someone to put it, so I pulled it all off. So yeah, so the kitchen, the bedroom, the bathroom, the hallway as you can see, and this was half done. This is the this one they can paint it all because they ain't done that much. And I thought, well, yeah, so. So you ain't doing your job as a as a, um, social housing landlord people. You're not doing it every time you tell them repair. Oh, 
you can do this you can buy that like the fridge i pay for the fridge and the fridge plastic is good they say oh you have to do it yourself i said well i'm paying for the fridge and the cooker so i thought yeah i know private landlords might be worse than it but still so yeah, so I've only got seven days in it. Today's Monday, so I've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So yeah, six days I've got left to get everything. So I'm gonna do some of my suitcase, pack that. Pack a bit more that I might do that one tomorrow and then just a few bits and then try and get a van to get the rest up the garage and that's it. And then next Monday, I'll be on a train up there. <laughs> So if anybody who's from Liverpool who's watching my videos and see me, just say hello, say how things are going. <laughs> oh dear. And like I say, things could be worse. There's people out there worse than that, and there's people with sickness and bad and things are things will pan out. We'll find some way to um rest and then from there I can work. Because once I've got somewhere to stop, I can work then, go out and have a look. Because I've, I've got a job to go to at the end of February. But I'll have to check with her when I'm up there to see. Because it won't be, it'd be temporary where I've stayed. It's going to be temporary accommodations. I don't know. Some I know some places they don't take people on. They want you to have a permanent address. So I'll see what happened there. But if she said um, anything, then I'll just... Because I have to, because I'm not working at the moment, so when I'm up there, I have to go on to Universal Credit, which is better because then the job you can get lower hours, you get help. Because when you're on job seekers, if you get a job that's 16 hours, you have to stop, and then that wages. Because I remember I was doing um, what was it, 18 hours, and the people thought I was getting paid a week. I was getting 300 pound a month, and she says that a week. I said, no, it's a month. And I was having trouble paying the rent, everything with that. And she told me, she said, well, if I was here, I would pack up the job. So, so but that would be better. So, because so, um, when I go up there, I'm up there, I want to get a job. Because here, I don't know, I can't get anything up in Birmingham. I suppose Liverpool will be the same, but it won't be too bad because here, I don't, I don't know. So, I'm just rambling, really. So... I just see how things go. Can't be worse. Nothing can be that bad. But yeah, so this will be the last video here. So the next video you see, you'll see I'll be in Liverpool. And hope things out, work out all right. Fingers crossed. So, because I've got no, see, once I am, um, this flat's gone. I've got no way I can go. I've got no, it's the box, that's why. <laughs> I've got no way where I can, um, yeah, see, and it's okay. I've got no way where you keep looking for your food, innit? You had your food already. She's eating a lot now. She's right fat, so it's gonna be some carrying her and smudge. So I've got no family here. See, I've got no mother and well, I've got a dad, but he's a uh, no one going to his right um nasty person. My mum's dead. I've got no brothers and sisters. I've got cousin, but they could be walking past me. I wouldn't even know my cousin because my my dad didn't keep in touch. I didn't like him. So that's it, and my partner, he looks after his mum a lot, so I can't really bother him too much. He's doing the best he can. And he's doing some um, some paperwork for me on the laptop, so I can sort it out. So the only thing I've got to do now is find the gas, electric, water, tell them, so I switch it off. I don't want the workmen coming here and using it. I'm getting a big bill. And I don't think anything else. The job said I've got to tell them, and that's, and that's it. So everything work out this week and pack up a few bits and then that's it the chair i'll have to leave here and let them get rid of it because it's too big it's a three-seater that chair if you see it i've had it for 13 12 years it's a leather chair when i was working i bought it and it's the bottom is right sink down the other side is all right but that it's a shame and it's okay yes yes yeah, okay see i should do a um, screenshot of that and it's okay. That, shall we use that for your thumbnail? That's it, yeah. Alright, folks, so I'll keep you in touch anyway. Right. When I'm up there and I get somewhere, I'll do a little video, let you know what's going on. And then see, once I'm up there, I'll sort things out. Because I'll have more. Mm -hmm.
um, access to everything up there. Being in Birmingham and trying to get up to Liverpool is a bit because I was supposed to go this week, but things that so I can't. So I just have to go Monday and then that's it. And that will be it, then. Eh? And that be me forever home. Well, when I say forever, it be me forever home. I'll stop in Liverpool now until I dead. I won't move no more city. That's it. That be my last, as they call it, my last resting place. Then the time I move, if I win the lottery, I'm gonna start playing the. I play the song the ball. Win that, then I can buy a little bungalow with my cats and dog. And that's it. Right. So I'm gonna sort some things out, and I'm gonna sort of keep you in touch. I'll do a video when I'm up there on Monday. Let you know what's happened, and um, gotta sort things out so I'll be up and down. At least a dog will have a lot of exercise walking all over the place and see how things go and just try and sort things out up there. Things will work itself out, like you always do, doesn't it? Like they said, um, there's a saying, but I can't remember what it is. So, right, folks, so I'll catch you. I'll put the pictures up of the flat so you can see what it was. Well, the flat is still there. That's the flat I was um because it's a nice little one. It looks over, it's Kirk, Kirk, not Kirkdale, it's Kirkby. I think it's Kurt B, a catcher 53, and the PDSA is over the road. It's not far from Bootle. I think it's around Bootle Way. And um, what I liked about it, the, the third floor, you can look into the train station, Bootle train station. Because that's where, if you go on the Google, you put um, Bootle, a child died on the railway, it comes up, and then you see a little statue of a boy. That he was killed on the railway he went to get his ball and he got killed and they got the statue of it there so if you know that's where it is that's where the flat is so yeah so that's it folks so next video will be that one so there's nothing else like i said my videos a bit and yeah and uh i think march will have the st patrick's day so that i can do that so it'll be mostly Liverpool now. I'll be coming back to Birmingham because my partner's still here and he said once um because he's looking after his mum once she's um not around anymore he'll come up but he can't come up now because none of the family will look after the mum. So uh, I still come to Birmingham so I'll still feel film Birmingham. The bull ring they're doing something to it again rebuilding it so I'll show you that. And yeah but my home will be Liverpool from Monday so and then see what happens so I'll keep you in touch. But yes, yeah, so if you um one of those people likes to go and do um I will do once I settle in and get somewhere to live, I will go to the Delphi and do a night ghost hunt. But I'm not stopping there. And it's okay. I mean I'm not stopping there like that. Alright folks, so I think that's enough now. I think I've told you what's happened, so as fingers crossed things will work out, so we'll see what happens. Be frightening when I come off Lime Street and think, oh god. So but yeah, at least I know the bit of the city I've walked and um, looked it, so I know mostly. And yeah, so I'll catch you on the next one, folks. And uh, like I said, I'll keep you informed and see what happens. And we see what happens from there. So cheers.